All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ochakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And salutation and much love to you, Akim, out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. This is the brother Ash. I'm back with another lesson, Lord, as well as edifying to the hopeful elect out there. And, uh, you know, just going to go into the, the indignation of the Lord, man, which is quickly coming, which is here, really. You know, the wrath of the Lord, if I say, all right, because the indignation is going to come at the end. His righteous anger, righteous judgment. Okay, it's, it's quickly approaching where the whole world will feel its wrath. All right, mainly here in America with the weapons of his indignation. All right, which are those ICBM missiles. So let's read a little bit about it. This is Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations. Right, so this indignation that the Lord is bringing is going to be unscapable. All right. The only way out of it is through the deliverance that he's going to bring. All right. Because at the same time, he's bringing the, the indignation and wrath. He's also going to bring salvation unto his elect. Those that uh, stand boldly. And, and worship him in truth and sincerity okay those will be delivered from the sad perils to come for the indignation of Yahweh was upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies hey, so all these armies all these kingdoms will fall when the Lord returns you know I was, uh, I was watching uh, Independence Day yesterday again I haven't watched it in about three, three four years now I watched it again and hey, every time I watch it since I've come into the truth, I get more spiritual things from it. And, hey, the Lord is going to fight these armies, all right. He's going to bring his indignation upon them as well. There's going to be an ass whooping. Okay. It says, he hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. There's yeah, going to be a slaughterhouse when the Lord returns. And that's part of his indignation. As a matter of fact, let's get the word there. Okay. Isaiah 34. Let's see, here's the word for indignation, what it is in the Hebrew. Quatazap, Quatazap. It says wrath, anger, splinter, twig, broken, meaning dubious. It doesn't really go into it very well, but it was this wrath, man. Okay, Let's see if we got a root word, here we go. To be displeased, be angry, be wroth. All right, the Lord is very wroth, man. The Lord is very displeased with these nations. With, with, hey, hell, even with up to two thirds of our people. Okay, and that's why He's gonna bring all this wrath upon them, especially in here in America, where um, the people of the Most High were tortured and put in slave. All right. And even our Lord was crucified here spiritually. <clears throat> Verse 3, Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. These are the weapons of his indignation, okay? Which are the Lord's weapons. They're not, they weren't, Esau didn't create them, so he can, he can boast in them, and you know, well, yeah, that 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 was a time frame he, where he was able to do so. But really, the end game is to destroy himself. All right, the Lord, those are the Lord's weapons. So this is de describing, all right, the the missiles blowing up and being sent. It says, "And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree." So that arching movement, okay. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea, which is Edom, and upon the people of my cursed judgment. So, hey, Esau, Edom is going out with his own weapons that he, he thinks are his, man. The weapons that he's made, all right? But the Lord put the spirit on him to make him. The Lord uh, make it the smith to blow the coals. <clears throat> the sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It's made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams for the... 
For the Lord Yahweh hath a sacrifice in Basra, in the great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And that's in America, man. The great slaughter, the great sacrifice. It, this is America's one big altar. All right? And it's going to be taken down soon. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to be set on fire. So let's go to Isaiah 13 and 5. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So there you go. The weapons of his indignation are those missiles. They're coming from a far land and their purpose is to destroy the whole land. And again, if you don't receive salvation through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to feel the wrath of that. All right. You're going to you're going to feel the fire. All right. You're going to be tormented. In the presence of the holy angels and the lamb the lamb and the holy angels okay pursuing revelation 14 right which is quickly leading up to that moment with the soon to be mandatory microchip okay which is the mark of the beast if you receive that mark okay you will eat a missile okay it ain't gonna be all funs and games then because we're at a time of, of no, we're at a point of no return with Esau's agenda. He's moving it quickly, which ultimately is Yahweh Bashim Shai's agenda. <clears throat> All right. How, verse 6, how ye, for the day of Yahweh is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. So people are going to be through, man, when they hear these missiles coming. All right, when they get their alarm, if they do even get lucky to get an alarm, all right, or you just see them blasting off from here in America as well, because they're gonna America's gonna be shooting missiles. Pete, what do you think? If somebody sees a, a, a silo opening up, they're already gonna automatically know that missiles are on the way, <laughs> okay? And people are gonna see them just being blown up in the distance and just waiting for their death. And at the same time, they're going to be seeing the elect being beamed up into the chariots. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed when that another of faces shall be as flames. They're just going to be in awe, man. Shocked. Amazed. And not in a good way. Verse 9, behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. That's his indignation, man. And it's going to be delivered through the weapons of indignation. To lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners there, thereof out of it. <clears throat> this, this place is going, to left, it's going to be leveled. Not one one's wicked soul will be left in America. Nothing will be left in America. Okay? Complete and utter destruction. <clears throat> This is Jeremiah chapter 50. Let me get straight to the point. Jeremiah 15, 25. The Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Let's see if it's the same word here. See, so these are the weapons of the Lord. He, they're, they're, that's his armory, okay? Let's see. Oh, this one is different. Anger, indignation. Zaim. 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 You know, indignation. Okay, show anger. Um, enraged. Those, are, <laughs> those weapons are going to be enraged, all right. <clears throat> It says, for this is the work of, Yah of, of the Lord of the, of the Lord Yahweh of host in the land of the Chaldeans. And the land of the Chaldeans is here in America, man. The prized possession of, 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 of the Babylon of Babylon the Great. <clears throat> Alright? The pinnacle, if you, if you will. <clears throat> and it, and the, the, wep the weaponry or the armory of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai will be opened up. And those weapons will come out, all right, which are the ICBMs, the hypersonic missiles, Satan tubes. If you, or you call them whatever you want, we call them the weapons of the Lord, the, the weapons of indignation. 
okay and that is quickly approaching the day of the lord is at hand repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand so we'll uh, end it off here on a few scriptures again <clears throat> the only way to be delivered is to be called up in the air okay when because the, the, the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved and, and even the the elect will be frightened but giving praises to Yahweh by Shimei al at the same time because we we will escape or as well be part of the number we're going to escape that great slaughter okay okay so first Thessalonians 4 and 16 it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first so the ones that have died in this ministry they will be risen verse 17 then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words see this is supposed to comfort us because that's our way out that's their ticket out to meet the Lord in the air being beamed up if so to say into the chariots so-called UFOs the clouds all right we're literally going to be called up all right and our enemies will behold us going up and then they're going to eat a missile so we'll end it off here book of isaiah 26 and 20 it says come my people enter thou into thy chambers and what are those chambers the ufos the, the the clouds when we go up to the clouds to meet the lord in the air and shut thy doors about thee All right we're going to be protected that's our protection up there okay and then just like in the days of noah when the when the ark was sealed well we're going to be in those uh space arcs <laughs> Hey, it, it was a ship that, that Noah built, right? Well, we're going to be in them spaceships. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And what's that indignation? The wrath of the Lord. Mainly the missiles. That's what we need deliverance from because we're going to be here for all the other wrath through the message of Jacob's trouble. But we ain't going to be here. Lord's will be part of that number. We won't be here for the final indignation, the indignation, the weapons of his indignation. All right, we're going to be in that in those chambers. For behold, Yahweh cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. All right, we don't want to be here when he comes to punish the people. Okay, you want to be in them chariots, all right? Praising Yahweh by Shemiah Shai when this goes down. So he says, The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. All right, hey, because the, the blood has to be accounted for. Okay, <clears throat> land cannot be cleansed but by the blood of him that shed the blood, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So, Lord's will, you know, Yahweh Shai comes back soon, man, because we need him, man. This place has to go. This place is wicked. You know, I was talking with the elder, Gabar Yahweh, from Hawaii last night. And this place is just finished, man. It's, it's, there's no, there's no if, ands, but about it. I mean, the, the wickedness has reached a level of. You have to be a fucking fool to not see it. But then again, there's a world full of them fools. So <clears throat> that's why this place has to go. And that's why the Lord has to come back and establish righteousness on this earth. So that the earth, all right, may be in right, uh, dwell in righteousness, man. And everything goes back to its natural order. Everything's out of course right now. Everything is wicked. All right. And that's why the Lord is coming to punish the evil, the, these evil people, man, these sinners. These reprobates, demons, all right, and take Esau, eat him out of power. The, the corporate of all these, he's the cancer of the earth, and he must be eradicated, all right. And he's gonna be used thermonuclear missiles to to cleanse that cancer off the earth, man. All right, the weapons of indignation. So with that, Lord's will, this is edifying. Till next time, I say Shalom and Milwaukee, blah blah blah.